Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good to see you all joining. I've got someone asking me for the link, so I guess some people haven't quite got the hang of it yet. So bear with us a sec. And no problem, Joey. Just saw your message about just being here as an observer. It's great to have you join us. Okay, Dominique is just joining. I think there's a couple of others just coming. Then we'll get going. There we go. Okay, thank you, everyone. It's great to have you all join us. Let's get the things moving. Welcome, Dominique. <laughs> so, yeah, good afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are. It's great to see you all here. And as project lead for Mortic, I'm really delighted to welcome you all to our first extraordinary general meeting, EGM. Some of you might not be familiar with the terms, but usually an organization like this will have an annual meeting, which is something that happens every year. And for us, that's going to be around Multicon online. So we can involve as many people as possible. But if there's something that needs to happen, like out of the usual schedule, then we can call an extraordinary meeting, which is what this is. So appreciate I didn't make that clear why it was called extraordinary for some people. So yeah, it's really great to see the community coming together and demonstrating our commitment, our unity throughout the voting process, the nominating process. So thank you everyone who's been involved in that. And also thank you to everyone who's been involved to get Mortic to this day, this point as well. It, I feel like today marks a really significant turning point We've got some exciting things on the agenda, like adopting the, the new governance model formally and bringing in our new uh, council members. But yeah, I just want to recognise the, the great passion and enthusiasm that has come together in Maltic and continues to come together to keep this community moving forward. It's been such a privilege to be a part of that. And I just want to extend my gratitude to all of you for bringing your passion and your enthusiasm and excitement for Mortic to the table and for joining us here today. Um, so we're going to try and keep this short and sweet because we're all busy people. The first thing we need to do, the first formal item on the agenda um, is to adopt the new governance model, the version two of the governance model. Um, Eki, would you mind pasting the link in the chat just so people have got it if they're not looking at the notes? In the notes, there's a section called resources, which has all of the links. So this was created as a community effort with lots of consultation, discussion, lots of research. And I feel like it's a great thing for Mortec to have created something like this so transparently and collaboratively. And today we're going to be adopting the model. So the best way we could think of to do this is to use the reactions in Zoom. So if people are happy for us to adopt this, if you click on reactions, there should be a yes, green tick. If you can just green tick, if you're happy for us to adopt it. And then if the majority of us green tick, then we'll say job's good and we can adopt the new model. That might be more challenging for Joey if you're on your phone. So if you want to just write it in the text chat, that's fine as well. Uh, but you'll find it under the reactions button on Zoom. It looks like we've got a majority. So thank you. If some people are still frantically going, where's this button that she's talking about? It's here somewhere. <laughs> it's on the bottom strip reactions and there should be like a green tick, a green circle with a white tick in it. Got it. Yes. Dominic's still looking. <laughs> yeah, okay. The, the, the arrow, really, really click on, on, the, on the icon. Yeah. Awesome. I think we're good to go. So we can write that down and say that that is accepted. Fab. Thank you. So hooray, part one. So you can untick your yes if you want. Thank you. So that's the new governance model officially adopted by our members. I really feel like it's going to be helpful in guiding Mortic, Mortic's way forwards, ensuring that it continues to be a collaborative open source approach, open source approach to leading our project, um, keeping that spirit at the heart of everything. 
So the next part is for us to, as part of that governance model, it dictates the council. And most of you will probably have been aware of the council election process we had, which is the first time we've ever done an election process in Maltic uh, for leadership roles. And we had our voting, which concluded last week. So thank you to everyone, all our members who decided to vote for who they felt would be the best people to represent Maltic going forwards. And a huge thank you to everyone who stood for election, including the people who didn't make it to be elected, um, because it does take quite a lot to stand up and put yourself on the public stage and say, hey, I'd like to, I'd like to represent Mortic. So if you weren't in depth involved in the governance model, I'll just talk you through a bit about what the council does and why it's important to Mortic. So amongst other things, the, the council determines and regularly reports back to the community on the budget of the project and how we're doing in terms of performance. Also is responsible for managing all of the fiscal operations and the relationships with providers, including looking after expenditures, looking after managing the trademark and the brand and so forth. The council appoints and manages any employees and contractors who are working for the Mortic project. They regularly report on the health of a project as a whole and make sure that that's sort of on the agenda all the time. They lead on strategic fundraising planning and also importantly, the long-term strategy and growth planning for Mortic. There's lots of other things that the council does. If you want to know more, please have a look at section five of the governance model. It's got lots of detail there, including like what the role of the project lead is and all of that kind of stuff. So before we proceed, to this, I'd, really, I'd like to formally disband the existing council, and we've had conversations about how to actually go through this process. Um, we owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who served on the community council in the past, because that has helped us to get to uh, where we are now. So those people are all of the team leads that we currently have in the community, and also Gabor, who I think is on this call, Dries Botart myself and John Lin Linhart. So huge, huge thank you to everyone for all of your involvement to date in the Community Council. It's, it really has helped us get to where we are now. So if anyone wants to do some funny reactions, you're more than welcome to. It's a new thing I've just <laughs> discovered on Zoom, which is very exciting. Maybe not for others. <laughs> so yeah, huge thank you. And the council will now uh, be stepping down and will be the new council will be stepping into the roles. And what we've done with this is based on the position in the in the voting, people will have a spe specified number of years term. So the new council members, I'm very honoured to introduce you all and formally bring you into the community. Those of you who are here, once I've gone through all the names, maybe we could go through in order if you wanted to just say a few words about who you are and what excites you about the council afterwards. So I'll give you a, a few minutes to prepare something. Uh, so we've got John Linhart, he'll be serving for three years. Uh, Norman Pratt will be serving for three years. Dominic de Kuman for three years. Eki Grumble for two years. Pratik Jane for two years. Andy Town for one year and favour Chibuzi for one year. And I just want to say you've been chosen by the community because of the trust and support that they have for you and the belief in your vision for Mortic, because everyone had to write in their applications what their vision was for Mortic. So very much the community are behind you. I'm really excited that you're stepping up to lead Mortic going forward. So John, did you want to say a few words? Oh, well, uh... I can introduce myself if, if I'm not known because I'm here for a long time. So I'm John Linhart. I am located in Prague, Czech Republic. That's in Europe. And I am the second programmer on the Modic project. And the first is here as well. Hello, Alan. Long time no see. And I, I work for on the Modic project since 2014. So I'll be celebrating 10 years next year. <clears throat> and currently I'm employed by Acquia, so I'm mostly working on the, the, the fork of Modic 
called Campaign Studio, but next year I was promised that we will unfork and uh, everything will be pretty peachy. So yeah, and I'm very excited to be on the board or continue to be on the board. And I I really can't wait for everyone to start using Modic 5 because it's it's a completely different beast. Awesome. Thank you. John, I think Norman is not able to make it today. So should we move on to Dominic? Did you want to say a few words? Thank you, Ruth. Yes, so I'm Dominic. I'm a co-CEO and co-founder of Drop Solid. So Drop Solid's been using Matic for quite some years. We got to Matic because we were super excited about uh, open source marketing automation as Drop Solid is, is probably more known in, uh, in the Drupal community. We started 10 years ago providing services around, around Drupal. Drop Solid also has a cloud platform where we combine Drupal and Matic. And what, what excites me the most is first, personally, I think it's, it's very, I feel really at home at Matic because I used to be a developer first, but then I, I, I kind of moved into a commercial role, doing a lot of sales, doing a lot of marketing business. And, and I think Matic is this community where you have these commercial, yeah, it's commercial people who use Matic is it's marketeers, it's even salespeople, and it's it's used for business development. But on the other hand, it's a really technically challenging project if you look at how, what is needed to, to make it happen. Um, and those two things come really together. So that really excites me. Uh, so personally, it uh, uh, combines all the interests I have personally. But then also, if you look at just the ecosystem, and especially for, for me, combining Drupal with Matic is what excites me a lot because that gives you a DXP. And I really believe that the DXP is what a lot of a lot, a lot of people are looking for is this integrated platform that can deliver experiences not only for web but also through other channels, providing the automation. And I think Matic is is like just a just a key piece in the open source ecosystem together with things that exist for longer like Drupal which is around for 20 years Matic's around for 10 years also but yeah it's, it's just a key piece and and that excites me and I think we're on the on the brink of of something I I cannot explain that I just feel that and yeah I'm super happy to be part of this Oh, thank you, Dominic. Um, Aki, did you want to say a few words? Sure, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also happy to see Alan back. Hey, very cool. <laughs> okay, my, my name is Aki um, Gumbel. I'm located in Hanover, Germany, which is also in Europe. And yeah, I've been around for a while too. I'm not a developer. I've never been a developer in terms of Turbo Pascal, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe. And what excites me most about the state of Mautic and my my role or, or the role in the Mautic Council is that I do believe that Mautic is such a great approach to a thing where there are so few uh, alternatives, especially in the open space market. There are the commercial guys, but the, the sky's the limit for Mordic. And we've been working really hard in the past years jointly and it, all, everybody did their best. And I, I, I think this, the biggest part is still to get more people on board with the community, more contrib contributors, more volunteers, and get a snowball rolling much faster or, or not necessarily faster, but, but larger. And then we can go, well, really, we have so many great ideas. There's so such a lot of vacuum. And uh, as you can tell, I get excited about that. And I think in the council, it, it is our most important responsibility to support that. And on the other, other hand, of course, the product itself, there are also a ton of ideas in terms of 
features, stability, roadmap, all that. And now the council is also there to support that. And I think we made good progress already. And I, I, my personal feeling is that the council should not interfere too much, but just give the framework and, and, and the, the groundwork for the product team and the other teams to do a good job. So, by the way, I know it. That's great. Thanks, Zeki. So if we go to Pratik and then give Norman five minutes to catch his breath. Um, Pratik, did you want to say a few words? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Ruth. And uh, hello, everyone. I'm Pratik Jain, um, based out of Jaipur, India. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And then, yeah, seeing some familiar faces over here, as well as new faces with whom I've not really interacted much in the past, but really looking forward to work collaboratively over here as part of this council member. My Motic journey started yeah, maybe four years back when we developed a few Motic plugins to begin with. I mean, for a for an organization to migrate from Marketo to Motic. And that's how I got involved, started learning bit more about the Motic. And that's when Ellen, where I work with you as well, I think like a lot of us getting familiar with Motic. And that has been my background. And since then, I've fallen in love with the Motic. I've been into open source ecosystem for over a decade now, primarily coming again from the Drupal and as a mobile developer, as a backend, as an engineer, and I still am a programmer at heart. But these days I spend my time with building solutions and consulting uh, activities using open source technologies. I work as a director of uh, digital experience platform services at Exilerant, and uh, Motic is core part of our strategy as well. Um, so that I'm looking forward to do more, learn more from everyone over here and then contribute in uh, whatever capacity I can and give back to the community. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Pratik. Great to have you joining us. Uh, Norman, did you want to say a few words or do you need a few minutes? No, I think I can I can say okay. a few words. No, also, I mean, the same as everyone. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm really happy that all those people and the names are here. I see Alan as well, so he, um, I have a little tear coming down. But yeah, I mean, all has been said, um, I'm really happy. I really think we should all work together to make committee member work being appreciated that it's real value because every contribution and whatever the type of contribution is a contribution, it's, it's very important for us. And we know how much we need more contributors. So we need to find the best way to show how exceptional is any contribution. And then something which is more um, related to, to where I come from, actually, we should focus. And I think it's what we do actually for, since for a few years now, and especially last month as well, but focus on keeping in mind that our users are, are most of the time marketers, and we need to do something which is user-friendly, easy to handle, easy to, to understand how to use. And this is also something which is on the market. If we compare to other people, to, I can drop several names like you were talking about marketer, but especially HubSpot. This is something that will come and come again, having something easy to use for the end user at the end. While keeping in mind, and I see Jan now, while keeping in mind that we have developers here behind and it's an open source project, so it means also it needs to be easy to install, easy to maintain. So we have to keep uh, one step in each side, but never forget the end user. So this is my what is important for me and we should all focus on. And few words about me but I mean you all may know I'm I'm working on the Motic for ages I would say I mean since almost the very beginning and uh, and we're we're basically offering some Motic uh, hosted services yeah. thank you uh, Russ. thank you Norman and thanks for joining us despite the the transport challenges appreciate it Andy did you want to say a few words next yeah, sure. I'm happy to be here with everybody and see a lot of familiar faces. Um, I'll call Alan out as well. Good to see you. I've been involved with Modic um, starting as a, a salesperson for the commercial company that was the DB had founded about six and a half years ago. And now I, I've really gotten into a point where I'm working more with active customers that are using Modic or Aquas Campaign Studio some with one instance and some with hundreds. And it's been great to see all the different use cases and 
it's always great when we hear that uh, customers like Modic much better than Eloqua, Salesforce, Marketing Cloud, Marketo, all those other things out there. And I think that there is a lot of potential for Modic to become really big. And I think that it's really important, as Norman especially was just talking about, to have something that's both easy to use and can be really strong with data. Make it marketer friendly so that you know the the UI UX shouldn't really be the differentiator between an SMB solution and an enterprise solution because especially in the marketing world, marketers are looking for something that they can use easily. But the larger enterprise organizations are going to have bigger, more complex data and smaller organizations are going to have some integrations, but it'll be more simple structures that they can use. And I think that Modic can really um, cater to both audiences. And that's going to be a great opportunity for us to help guide the project and make it as strong and powerful as we can for everybody. Awesome. Thank you, Andy. And thanks for standing and being willing to step up and be a part of the council. Uh, Favour, over to you. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I'm Favour Chibwezi. I'm a front-end engineer and also a developer community manager. So I started, I got into multi-community in 2021, where I was, when I was looking for an open source community to contribute to. And also, I got to know about Motsik from a friend, um, Favor Kelvin. And then I learned about Motsik Project and what we do here. And it was very interesting. So I also decided to contribute um, to Motsik, especially the user um, the end user documentation, which I also was part of the season of docs last year, where I was able to contribute to the end user documentation. And it's been really interesting contributing to Motic and getting to meet amazing people in the community. And I'm really excited to be part of this council. <laughs> so uh, I was surprised when I got elected because I, I just had to try. Um, I think the last day I, I submitted my proposal was, I think the last minute, Ruth had to send me a reminder. I was like, oh, Favor, you mentioned you want to give this a try. You're yet to apply. So I applied and I was, I'm really grateful for everyone that voted me in. So one of the things I planned on doing here as part of the council is to create more awareness of MOTIC, especially in Africa, and to also bring more people to contribute to MOTIC projects. And like last, sorry, this year, I think in October, we had the first Motsi camp in Africa and basically in Lagos and it was interesting we got to meet people that had of Motsi for the first time and they were really interested in the project so we just me being part of the council would we use it to reach more voices in Africa and get to get them more involved in the Motsi projects so thank you very much Thanks so much, Favor. And yeah, thank you for looking after me so well when I came to uh, Nigeria with a very broken wrist. <laughs> really appreciated yeah, all of the care. Thank you. So yeah, I think it's been wonderful to hear from all the council of your ambitions, where you want more to go in the future. A bit like Dominic said, I feel like we're on this kind of upwards trajectory and the stats actually show that as well. If you look at the open startup reporting, so it's a really exciting time and I'm really, really pleased that we've got such a strong council of people from all over the world, different kind of users of Mortic. So it's not all developers, it's not all marketers, it's people who use Mortic in different ways because I feel like that's going to set the project up for success. So yeah, thank you all very much for becoming a member, for standing, for voting, for just supporting Mortic in every way that you can. So I feel like we're at the end. I don't think I've missed anything out. Okay, have I, according to the agenda? No, we're all good. Um, so yeah, I just want to say, like, I really hope that we have, that you all have a successful term on the community council. As I mentioned, some people will be for three years, some will be for two, some will be for one, which means that we don't have everyone 
uh, kind of aging out at the same time. So each year, annual general election, we will a general meeting, we will be voting new people in to take in a new a new role. So there'll be two elections every year. So if you're thinking, oh, I'd quite like to do that next year, um, then you know you can. So start contributing, get involved in the community, get to know people, and then maybe when we come around next year, you might also be stepping into the council. So yeah, as we close this assembly, just let me say I'm so excited. I've said it already before, but I feel like the challenges we've already faced to get to this point have been pretty big. And I feel like as a community, we've risen to those challenges. So going forwards, let's keep on rising to those challenges. There are going to be challenges. We will find it tricky to get to know each other and work together in the council. But yeah, I feel like we have the resilience that we need to, to make it work and to really drive Mautic forwards. Uh, so thank you everyone for joining us today. If anyone else would like to say anything, I guess we can have an any other business section in case anyone else would like to say anything. But otherwise, from my perspective, we're done. I think that on behalf of, of the old and of the new council, we should also mention once again, what a fantastic job Ruth is doing here. <laughs> I like everything in parallel, including organizing things like that, setting up things, but also driving all the work behind the governance model and the, the community platform, all that it takes. Mm. It's just amazing. So thank you very much, Ruth. You're welcome. <laughs> it's an honor to be able to serve the community in that way. So thank you. Okay, so now we should all be done. We'll write up, the notes are being written up in the etherpad, which you'll find beneath the meeting on the community council. And we will write something up and share it with the community. So thank you all for being part of this amazing journey. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you. Thanks a lot, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.